Welcome to ENN. I'm Brian Baumgartner. And I'm Emily Ahrens, and this is your weekly news update. College Park and Dara Apartments hosted the Great Apartment Giveaway on Wednesday, April 4th. The Hawaiian Luau-themed party gathered many hopeful students who were waiting to hear their name called for the grand prize. The prize is $14,000 towards an apartment during the 2012-2013 school year. Sophomore Allison Saring won the apartment. This giveaway is done every year for students interested in College Park or Darrow Apartments. In honor of National Library Week, the Barron Forest Library will be hosting a used book sale on Thursday and Friday that will go from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Proceeds will benefit the pur purchase of new library materials and used books, DVDs, and VHS tapes will begin at prices starting at 25 cents. On Wednesday, Bruce Gallery will host a reception for their annual student exhibition. The event will take place between 5 and 7 p.m. with an award ceremony at 6 p.m. This event is free and open to the public. The spring commencement graduation fair is just around the corner. Students who are graduating in May will tape their self-introductions, complete exit interviews with financial aid staff, pick up commencement tickets, and have the opportunity to pre-order commencement DVDs. The fair will take place on Tuesday and Wednesday from noon to 6 in the Alumni House on Meadville Street and the Campus Bookstore in the Frank G. Pogue Student Center. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Welcome to Entertainment News. I'm Josh Petrusco. The sci-fi thriller Hunger Games stayed number one in the box office over the weekend with $13 million in sales on Friday and an estimated $13 million over the weekend. The movie is expected to generate close to $300 million by the beginning of this week. Coming in at number two was American Reunion, the fourth installment in the American Pie series, which generated close to $13 million. Finally, Titanic 3D came in at third, which is $7 million. Police arrested former Nickelodeon star Amanda Bynes on suspicion of drunk driving. According to reports, Bynes' BMW hit a marked police car while trying to pass the cruiser. Nobody was injured in the accident, and Bynes was booked in the West Hollywood Sheriff's Department on $5,000 bond. Bonds was released and will, re will await a trial. That's all for entertainment this week. Coming up next is weather. Oh, those boys are much too much. Those boys are much too much. We got the spirit. We're hot. We can't be stopped. We got the spirit. We're hot. We can't be stopped. We're going to beat them and bust them. Beat them. The bust smallest them. moments beat can have the biggest beat impact beat on a child's beat life. Beat Let's get a little bit rowdy, R-O-W, woo, D-Y. Take time to be a dad One more today. Time. All those boys are much too much, those boys. Hello everyone, I'm Dorian Churn. Let's take a look at, at this week's weather forecast. We're going to start off on Monday. We have partly cloudy skies, highs 55 with a low of 34 degrees. On Tuesday, we have a rain-snow shower mix, highs 43 with a low of 33 degrees. On Wednesday, everyone, we have a few showers like in the area, highs 43 with a low of 31 degrees. On Thursday, we have partly cloudy skies, highs 47 with a low of 32 degrees. And on Friday, the last day of the school week, we have partly cloudy skies, Highs 54 and a low of 40 degrees. Now let's take a look at this week's trivia question. Which type of cloud is most likely to produce rain? A. Cirrus. B. Alto cumulus. C. Cirrostratus. Or D. Cumulus. And today's trivia question answer is. Cumulus, everyone, yes, that is what makes rain. So you can tell that when you're at a party, say, hey, what cloud makes rain? Say, it's cumulus, everyone. Well, that's this week's weather forecast. See you later. That's all we have for you this week. Stay tuned next week for more from ENN. Remember, you can email at edinburghtv at gmail.com for any story ideas you have. Thanks for watching.